I know I haven't made a whole lot of how-to videos lately, but I've just been so busy with racing, the bike experience, teaching, life, Switzerland trip, all sorts of stuff. So here's going to be a kind of stupid little video about what I'm doing to get magnets off of an SV1000 flywheel. Uh, you don't want to try to force them if you're trying to remove them. You want to bake them. You want to heat them up very thoroughly. I think like I'm basically going with everything this little toaster oven's got. So that's like 400 degrees, but kind of half an hour at 400 degrees usually does the trick to, uh, bust the, bust the epoxy. Uh, after that, obviously handle with care, but you'll see that in a minute. So while this is cooking, Fair warning, you probably don't want to use your house's oven, unless you're renting and hate your landlord. Um, it does smell quite a bit, just because there's a bunch of oil that's kind of cooking off in there. Um, I did get this toaster oven for a whopping $5 on Marketplace, about three miles from my house. So, um, if you're doing this, spend the five bucks and go buy a shitty toaster oven. Um, and then if you need to bake something else in your garage, you always have that. Um, but yeah, just kind of set it in there, wait for a long time, and uh, eventually grab some big gloves. You might also ask why I'm pulling magnets off a perfectly good flywheel. And the reason is twofold. For one, this is an 03 flywheel. They're fatter than 05 and up. So if you look, here's a 05 thin, here's a 0304 fat. And two, it's because there are six magnets on that thing. They sell for 50 bucks a pop. But a whole new one is like 350 or 400 from Suzuki so rather than try to sell it whole I feel like I'll make more money quicker in <coughs> in just parts um, and the other thing that happens is this these six magnets will probably fix four to six bikes versus selling that one thing whole will probably fix just one bike. So, um, make a little more money, a little easier doing smaller parts and uh, hopefully help more people. So, let's see, this thing's been baking for a minute. Uh, let's get my gloves on and uh, see if it's warm enough for the epoxy to let go. Now the goal with these is, and yeah, these are just welding gloves. They're like the wrong size, so I really can't ever wear them, can't ever use them. Uh, but this is gonna be hot. This is gonna be hot, hot. The goal with these is you don't wanna use tools. You just wanna push on the magnets and see if any of them are interested in moving rather than uh, trying to pry it or score it or anything. Um, you really do want the heat to release because magnets are annoyingly brittle so if you try to force it you stand a pretty good chance of cracking a magnet. None of these want to move yet. I'm guessing it's not hot enough so I'm just gonna let it keep going. So, so far it's baked for about an hour, uh, give or take, I don't know how accurate that timer is. So let's see what we got. Remember the goal is to move these. Oh, got one, got one moving, and got another one moving. So now I can slide these out and set them down gently. Remember, magnets are brittle. Let's see. 
which one of y'all moved? So set them down gently and let them cool off. Uh, so all we were after is to heat up the epoxy to the point where it wants to release. All right. So those three were wanted to release. These three, I guess, are still a little cold. I'm going to pop these back in. But that is how you would go about extracting magnets out of a flywheel. I'm sure this could have been a five-second video, but y'all, I know y'all like to watch me struggle. <laughs>